Hey everybody, it's Richard R. Mortar Diag, and today we're having a look at a Citroen Zara Picasso, and it's got a lighting fault. Right, so as you might have guessed, <coughs> I have pinned it down to a BSI fault, just to keep you up to speed, because I didn't do any recording on the car. I've been quite busy lately. I've drawn out a basic picture of what I looked at in the first place. Um, so hopefully we can get all that in shot. Right, so it went to the car. What it had was side lights stuck on. Um, so when I got there, I noticed it was only the right hand or the driver's side lights that were stuck on. So that's this front right and the... Um, well, that's a rear right as well. Um, uh, that, sorry, that's rear left, front right, rear right, front right, left, uh, front left. So <clears throat> we had the, the, as I say, the driver's side was stuck on. So all the other lights seemed to work. Even if you turned all the ignition off, turned the, take the keys out, these lights are still on permanently, which obviously causing a flat battery. So first thing to do, obviously plug it in, code scan all the usual stuff though there, there was no codes related to this whatsoever so my first thoughts on this setup on the psa group is they usually have a comms comms 2000 there's various different versions of it which is your, your indicator stalks and um, wiper stalks and all that and usually what controls most things like that in the car is the bsi unit so first thing i did obviously on my code scan i could go into the comms unit so that was good that i had communication there anyway Looked in the live data. Uh, it said that the side lights were turned off. When I turned the side lights on, it came to on on live data, uh, and it did so for all the rest of the lights. So that was all good. I was fairly happy that you know because I could talk to it. You know, powers and grounds should be okay there. Didn't want to get too carried away with that. Now that is connected via vehicle area network, so two van lines to the BSI unit, which is under the driver's dash. Um, I could also access this and no fault codes again um, i could speak to everything i wanted to speak to also in this it had live data if you turn the lights on it would say the lights are turned on side lights headlights all the rest of it so that knew you that the comms unit was commanding it to turn on all these lights and when the light switch was turned off there was no there was no data saying that the um that the side lights were turned on uh, I wasn't sure on this model. I know certain models can have parking lights. It wasn't showing that there was an indicator st stuck on or anything like that. I thought it had an indicator on, and that's why it was putting like a parking light on when it was turned off. Something weird like that. Nothing like that was happening. So I was happy that I had good communication between all this. Um, but when I was turning my lights on, I still didn't have my passenger side lights. So what I did was I found the pinouts on the BSI unit. Now there is a green and black connector. Mm, these two here. So you got the vert one there, that's the green, noir, black. So on the green connector on pin 15, they're all marked on there, um, is the front right. Now that had permanent 12 volts to it, whether the car was running or not. Um, and 13, even when you turned the lights on, nothing came live. Same as the other side, we had no number plate lights, we had no rear left. Uh, there was nothing on 15 when you turned the side lights on. Uh, again, pin 11 permanently had life going to it. Obviously, tried on the scan tool as an actuator test to, to command the, the lights on. That didn't work, all the rest of the commands worked, so I was pretty happy that the tool was doing a good job. Um, Right, so just to prove that these circuits would work, all I did was disconnect the plug, put 12 volts to pin 15. These lights lit up, did the same on pin 13 on the green plug, and the front left came on, so I was happy with that. Obviously, we know that the, the right-hand sides are working because they're on all the time. So we had good proof that all of this worked. And obviously if you disconnected these two big plugs here, the black and the green, all the lights went out, everything was happy. So we had commands and communication here, 
commands and communication here, but still no lights. So that led me to believe we have a BSI fault. Um, realistically, I probably should have checked all the powers and grounds and found all the pinouts for everything here. Um, I didn't have any blown fuses on the car. I did check through that as a quick check. Um, to get this out, I did have to pop off the cowling around the steering wheel. So I disconnect the comms unit just in case there was something really weird going on with it commanding this BSI to turn on the lights. That wasn't the case. They still stayed on even with this disconnected. So we definitely completely rule out that, leaving me just with a BSI fault. Now, what I did is when I took the unit out, there we go. It did smell a bit funny, like that sort of acrid, burning, plasticky sort of smell. So we've popped it open. And I have um, had this open as well. Get it out. And on this side of the board, down here, I can see what looked like burning, and it does smell a bit around there. Now, because these boards are pressed together, you've got sets of pins here, and there's another set of pins up in between these two plugs here. Now, they're only press fittings, so you can just sort of work it backwards and forwards, just levering it like this until they pop open. Obviously, you've got to go careful. You don't want to wreck the board. But as we can see, I think we can see our failure here. So we've got uh, quite a considerable burn out of this. Now, that is a solid state four pole relay i believe it's uh it's called um now i do have another one of these bsi units that i've broke for parts beforehand so what i've done is i heated it up with the hot air station and i removed the chip i don't know if we can get it in the light to see the part numbers on it it's made by st and if I look at it closely enough, VNQ660SP, something like that. I'll probably put it on the screen if I can find it, if I, I'll put it under the microscope and make sure I've got the right part number. Anyway, this one is, I can see most of the numbers on it and it looks like the same thing. As I say, this, the board setup is the same and there is another one over the other side here. And it's the same on the on the on the other donor board, and they're all the same, the same relays. So what I'm hoping is I can heat this up and get this off without all the pads disintegrating, because that's going to be the problem on this. Um, it would be nice to revive this board, so it saves me having to um, pull information off of it and clone it onto another board or wipe another board and then reprogram it. So I'm hoping I can just get this chip sorted which does um turn the the side lights on and off and i think i think it's the rear fog as well um so i'm going to heat this up and get it taken off and we'll see what's left and hopefully it'll make a good video and we can um put this back on and resolve this uh problem on this citroen all right so we've got the chip removed doesn't look very nice We've got a different one to go back on, sadly on the board, uh, down on this bottom one you can see there's a trace missing, but where it goes through the board on one of these like little holes, we can get some solder there, so we'll see if we can bridge that for a bit of wire, we've got a bit of a tin out, obviously we've just got some marking here and some carbon burning, but I don't know, I'm hope hopeful. We can put this back on and hopefully uh, hasn't wrecked the board. Um, so I'm going to get the chip in place, get some hot air on it and see if we can get it back down and see if this works. Right, so we got another one on. Obviously these pads down the bottom were all right. My issue was this top one here, track was burnt out. Um, these two pads are bridged anyway. And there is some, uh, you see where the solder mask has come apart a bit around there, but none of these are bridged. So I'm going to have a good clean up around here and see if I can 
can get some of the worst of this uh, carbon burning off. We'll probably put a bit of a uh, solder mask over this so it definitely can't contact. And then I'm going to put it back in the car and hopefully it'll work. Uh, get this customer out of trouble. If not, then yeah, we'll have to go around the, down the road of finding another board. Right, so I've just got the BSI hung back in, not in place, but it's in there. The car's running. And I've turned the side lights on, come on and off, headlights, all the rest of it. It's all working on the outside as well. So happy days, good repair for that one. Um, hope you found this one interesting and come along for the next one. Cheers, guys.